Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be telling you 10 facts about my favourite comedy duo, Laurel and Hardy. I am a huge fan of Laurel and Hardy. I was first introduced to them as a young child by my dad. I used to watch them all the time with him. I found them hilarious. I still do. I just love them. At the end of this video you can see a short film that my sister and I put together. All the gags are inspired by Laurel and Hardy. We have done films like this before that you can find on my channel. Laurel and Hardy were a British-American comedy duo. They are considered one of the funniest comedy duos of all time and their work continues to influence people today. Arthur Stanley Jefferson was born in Earlverston, Lancaster, England on the 16th of June 1890 and Norval Hardy was born in Harlem, Georgia, US on the 18th of January 1892. Laurel legally changed his name to Stan Laurel after deciding that his stage name with 13 letters was bad luck. Hardy adopted his late father's first name, Oliver, as a tribute. His off-screen name was Babe. For a short time, Laurel was an understudy for Charlie Chaplin in Fred Carnot's travelling comedy troupe. Hardy, while managing a movie theatre, decided that he could do better than the actors he saw on screen, so he went to work at the Lubin Studio in Jacksonville, Florida. Laurel's first movie short was Nuts in May in 1917. Hardy's first movie short was Outwit and Dad in 1914. Laurel found minor success as the star of his own series of comedy shorts in the early 1920s, but then worked as a director and gag writer. Hardy appeared in more than 200 short films for various studios. Laurel signed with Hal Roach Studios in 1925, where he began directing films, including a production in which Hardy had a part. Hardy was signed with Hal Roach in 1926. Laurel was asked to return to acting when Hardy injured himself in a cooking accident and Laurel was asked to fill in for him. Laurel and Hardy then began sharing the screen in several short films. They became good friends and their comic chemistry soon became obvious. Director Leo McCary noticed the audience reaction to them and began teaming them up, leading to the creation of the Laurel and Hardy series. Laurel and Hardy began producing a number of short films and feature films, with Laurel often being the creative force working long into the night writing and editing their films, but Laurel knew he wouldn't have the success he achieved without his friend Oliver Hardy. Laurel described Laurel and Hardy as two minds without a single thought. Laurel with his trademark head scratching, blank stares and whimpering crying and Hardy with his eccentric mannerisms, tie twiddling and frequent looks into the camera. Laurel and Hardy are still loved by generations today and are widely regarded as the greatest in film history. 